Welcome back. White Cane Week is taking place across the country beginning February 4th, which is Sunday. Uh, we have a very strong group here in Kamloops advocating. Uh, it's great to have you guys here. You're members of the White Cane Club. Uh, Laura Campbell, you're the treasurer. Les, returning to the show, you're the vice president of the That's White correct. Cane Club. Yeah, yeah. It's great to have you guys both back thank on the you, show. You. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I guess community by community, you guys can choose what it is you want to sort of promote, the awareness that you want to create. And this year in Kamloops, you're talking about promoting the awareness of traffic safety for people correct, with visual yeah. challenges. Yeah, yeah. Les, you have a cane with you. Uh, I would like to think people are aware of that when they see you on the road. However, you've just mentioned to me on the break that sometimes you have had near misses because people are not being careful and not being cognizant. Yeah, I've had people like um, going turning uh, right on 6th Avenue where I'm heading off to the bus and actually had a person come and turn right and actually took off the tip of my cane even, no. though, I, even though I did have the, uh, the, the walk signal. Right. And I've had some, a lot of cases where people would stop right in front of me on the crosswalk or sidewalks and stuff like that and don't realize that for a person with vision loss, that obstacle in front of them on the crosswalk or, or the sidewalk and you know they're waiting for traffic but they're not cognizant of the fact that there are people you know, with vision loss that have a hard time you know r realizing the vehicles there sometimes and it's a bit of a hazard yeah absolutely and yeah. you probably hear the same from other people with the visual challenges yeah even even people that aren't, aren't visually impaired it's it's it's, it's I don't know, not very respectful for somebody that's on the sidewalk to have to walk around the vehicle or but it's even worse when you have vision loss. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Laura, what is your situation? Do you have some vision loss as well? Yes, I have my peripheral vision off on the right side in both my eyes. Mm. Has, has been gone since 94. Okay. So, I mean, it was a hard for, thing for me to adjust with. And when I did finally meet up with Les for the CNIB stuff, he gave me a lot of information and helped me with a cane. I mean, I, I almost got ran over in a parking lot. Like at Walmart, I would walk into get into the store and people are backing up they didn't they're not paying attention like I I'm not really paying attention myself so it was a little dangerous time mm -hmm. do you use a cane to help people yes w at times just to let people know that you have a, a, a challenge yes I do I have mine like when I'm out in the streets walking and stuff like that just like less mm -hmm. and stuff and when I go to busy stores like uh, Walmart any type of shopping stuff like that I have my cane mm -hmm. and it does let people aware where I am feeling a little more safer to go mm -hmm. walking around. Mm -hmm. I'm running into Even things. if it makes 50% of the people out there more aware, you're ahead of the game a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, White King Club, 25 years in Kamloops this year. Yes. Yeah, that's significant. It is. Uh, so are you guys doing anything to commemorate that? Yeah, on White King Week, which is next week, uh, mm -hmm. we, on, on, uh, on the 8th, we're having a White King luncheon. Well, we do that every year, but this year we're going to have... Uh, just some activities for a uh, a lunch and then people uh, dignitaries like uh, the mayor is coming as well and uh, yeah it's just we are just we celebrate the <laughs> way it came week yeah yeah absolutely yeah. Uh, what are some of the things that the city has done in recent years to make traffic safer or being out on the streets downtown safer yeah. crosswalks etc is there anything that you would like to see added well, the city is very good. Like they, they've consulted with me and, and two other gentlemen in, in the community as well with the crossings uh, signals and things like that. And, and, and they're very diligent at adding audio signals yearly to, to this mm -hmm. community so that, and it's a quite a rare uh, thing actually because our, our audio signals actually tell you what street you're crossing. Right. Where in most communities they don't have that. It's either a different, uh, different sound of a chirp. So you have to really listen to see what what uh, type of chirp is chirping. Is that right? You know, yeah. So. And the sound of the chirp indicates where you are in town. No, it just indicates which direction you're going. Is like, that right? Yeah, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. used to have that here as well, but now yeah. they they announce the street that you're crossing. Yeah. 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 Uh, is there anything you want people to keep in mind as White King Week approaches on Sunday? Uh, just, just to let people, you know, be aware. Uh, please watch for us when we're on the roads, and, and mm -hmm. I, there's a lot of people I've been. But also say too, as pedestrians, I make myself as visible as possible. Mm -hmm. I wear a high vis, especially in Which the darker awesome. days. Yeah. And I tell everybody it's not very fashionable, but being a hood or ornament on a vehicle isn't very fashionable either. So. <laughs> so I, I make sure that well said. I, so I make sure people see me as well. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. We are out of time already. The segments go very quickly, don't they? Yes, they do. I really appreciate you both being here. I hope White Cane Week goes splendid.
splendidly. Uh, and uh, for people who want more information, there is a phone number on the screen, 376-4900. Again, White Cane Week is February 4th to 10th. And Les and Laura, thank you so much for being here today. You're very thank welcome. you very much. Okay. Quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.